There's nothing wrong with having a healthy ego. That's why there's sheep and there's shepherds. that will allow the triceps time to warm up and that wouldn't uh, cause uh, a lot of strain from the start. We're going to begin with tricep press down. This is the bread and butter of the tricep. Very basic movement, a very necessary movement in order to develop the tricep muscles. Okay? You want to first get your feet planted in a nice position. Lean forward just slightly to put a little, shift a little of your weight in front so that you can balance yourself better. Then you want to press down and extend the triceps out at the bottom. You don't want to snap them out. You want to slowly extend them out like so. Come up, get a real good negative at the top of the movements. Control, come down. Also keep the triceps of the arm locked closely to the side. Up, down, flex the tricep at the bottom. Just like so. But you're able to uh, get a better stretch and better direct hit on the tricep by using the barbell extensions. Some people feel the rope a little bit more, but this is a basic. I feel we need to stay with the basics. If you're not feeling this one, then yes, you can try the rope extension. Some people would need a spotter. It would be better to use a spotter from day one. My having more experience, I don't really need a spotter. But for the sake of everyone who's just getting started, I like to have you, Joe, to give me a spot here. So we want to slowly lower the bar in a controlled manner. Come up, extend. Get a good stretch at the bottom. Extend. You want to ease it out. Squeeze the tricep out at the top. And we're now moving to the one arm extension. Can I have a volunteer? One of you ladies there. Chelsea? She does good form and good control, and Charles is making sure that she gets the most out of the negative part of movement, which will help lengthen the tricep muscle. Hitting both heads there. Upon completion of each set, it's always good to get at least 45 seconds to 60 seconds of rest in between sets. You can superset, A okay, no problem with that. But uh, when I speak of superset, I mean such as moving from press downs to line tricep extensions. That is a good superset. In bodybuilding, no pain, no gain, and remain the same. That is the key. You want each and everything that you do to be a definite plus. And a superset should also carry with it the same 45 to 60 seconds recovery time in between those supersets. Doesn't mean rush from set to set without a breather. That's not supersetting. Not the way Lee Haney would call supersetting. Because if you don't have an amount of uh, rest to recover, to get a good set, uh, to make the supersets really that productive, then you're wasting your time. Which means you're going to end up having to use a much lighter weight, which means you're not going to gain as much muscle size.